What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today you join me for a POV drive in an R35 Nissan GTR. You know I'm a big fan because I just sold my car but this thing had to be bought because it looks ridiculous. The photo, check out the website right now. If you've seen them already, you'll know what time it is. This car is sick. £45,000 been spent on this vehicle. We're going to do a little walk around, go over some of the modifications and of course we set up the POV camera and I'll show you what it's like to drive. I've not driven it yet, so we'll discover what it drives like together. Anyway, let's start off at the front of the car because that is what sold me on this vehicle. In my opinion, she looks absolutely 10 out of 10. It's only a Japanese car that can get away with these crazy bonnets. Let's just go over what a GTR is firstly. So from factory, they do come with a 3.8 litre twin turbocharged engine. You're talking 550 to 600 horsepower, depending on the year, the spec around 1750 kilos they come with a six-speed dual clutch transmission and they also have four-wheel drive and they are what you'd call a supercar killer for the fraction of the price you know you can pick these up for 30 to 40 thousand pounds like i say depending on which year the spec the mileage but this has had 45 thousand pounds spent it's got a fully forged engine we're talking 840 brake horsepower now, all done by Litchfield. We've got switchable maps. It's got flame maps, not interested in the flame maps, but uh, yeah, it's got 1000 CC injectors. I suspect it's got hybrid turbos to be putting out 840 brake. And this for me is probably the sweet spot with a GTR. When you start heading towards 2000 horsepower mark, that's where they become a little bit more unreliable and they're not really that quick spoiling, daily drivable. This is still gonna be a fun car, reliable. You ain't got to have a clunky gearbox. It's sounding very negative right now, ain't I? But that is the reality of owning a highly modified car. It comes with every single manufacturer that you go with when you want to head for big power. But anyway, this one's got the Thunderbolt headlights. So this is a 2011 model. It's originally black underneath. Color's called Animal Grey. I'm not sure if that's the company name, Animal, but that is what it said in the spec. We've got loads of carbon fibre, like the bonnet is actually carbon fibre. Right, so guys, quick interruption for the sponsor of this video which is OBD11. If you have not seen already, it is one of these Bluetooth devices which you can keep on your key ring. It's literally like having a full on diagnostics computer on your key ring, literally. You download the app, whether it's Apple or Android, and you have access to some really cool features. If you're into buying cars on a regular basis, you can check for sort of mileage discrepancies. You can check for hidden codes if they've been removed. If you like to work on your own cars, you can reset oil lights, you can reset service lights. And obviously somebody like me who has highly modified vehicles, anytime I have an engine light or some sort of niggle with the car, I can plug this in and it can diagnose it on the spot. Right, so I'm on the app. You can see at the top it says Volkswagen Golf R, shows my battery voltage, 11.8 volts. If I do tap to scan, it will obviously go through all the modules, which we're not gonna do right now. You can go to oil service reset, press adjustments, you'll see mode button illumination. You've got puddle lights with folded mirrors. You can literally customize your car to how you like it. This is something that I do on every car that I buy. So anyway, I'm gonna put you back into the video. If you do make an order, make sure to select the link in the description where you get a 10% discount by using the code MLR, which is obviously short for man like Ricky. Once again, shout out to OBD11 and I'll now put you back into the video. It's been body matched. We've got carbon fiber splitter, carbon fiber side skirts. We've got the carbon fiber grills. You can see the black here, which is the original color. We've got these beautiful forged alloys. So these are 20 inches, uh, made by a company called Rays. We've got a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Doesn't look like it's been lowered. Got some nice clearance, so it's not gonna rub or anything. Carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber spoiler, tinted tail lights. And I think it does also come with a private registration. Looks like a Linny back box, but it could just be tips. I know that they're 220 mil wide. I think I already said carbon fiber diffuser. But it's a really, really nice looking car. It's been tinted. You also get the flipping special LLF game sticker. And if you're not aware, this car is actually on my website right now, llfgames.com, where you can win it for just 99p. So quick little look in the interior. You can see even these have been done in black because these are, I know the car's black, but this would be silver on a stock car. It's a full service history vehicle. It's got loads of upgraded carbon fiber. It doesn't come like this from factory guys. We've got the Recaro leather heated and electric seats. We've got Bose subwoofer. And uh, this steering wheel is a flat bottom version with extended paddles. Gonna be loads of bits that I've missed. As I say, head over to the website if you want the full specification, but let's set up the camera and see what it's like to drive. Hey, right, so guys, you join me in the cabin. 
of the R35 GTR. We've got 720 up here as well. But I don't think he wants the smoke. Yeah, he don't want the smoke. No, is this van gonna try to block me? Maybe not. Man, it feels nice to be back in the GTR, guys. Man, the sound's on this thing. Drop it down. anyone that's into you know tune in modified cars you know the GTRs you know pound for pound they do have to produce a little bit more power than the competition there's a lot of drivetrain loss I think it's the location of their gearbox on top of that being four-wheel drive automatically shift as well nice feature I had on my uh, JM Imports uh, GTR so we've got it in manual mode but if you do head towards the red line it will basically automatic automatically shift for you four-wheel drive we just got traction <laughs> man it's crazy like it's 1750 kilos ain't a great deal of weight to be honest with you but it just feels very planted like it just feels like there's the reason I said that is it feels like there's loads of weight sitting on those wheels could even be the wheels they do say lightweight but yeah yeah anyway anyway oh mate oh shit are you kidding me what the f, f? bro bro did you just see that? It was one of those uh, Aston Martin, those uh, Vulcans, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Not, not hot on my supercars and hypercars, lads. I can feel um, the brakes slightly being grabbed as I'm coming off. I can't believe that I could. Oh, mate, why did I just go straight? For heaven's sake. So um, yeah, GTR man, as mentioned, 840 horsepower, 45,000 pounds of modifications, and she drives spot on. There's no knocks or creaks or anything like that it usually happens when you start modifying a car taking off bits of you know plastic swapping them for carbon but she sounds nice and tight that sounds absolutely ridiculous we've also got a forged engine so this car can easily do more than 840 horsepower man like inspires a lot of confidence gtrs it's been a long time since i've been able to drive one with a reasonable amount of power and it's a true four-wheel drive car you know like but not like other four-wheel drive or fake four-wheel drive cars this car like it'll send a lot of the power to the rear Audi's, Volkswagen, some of these smaller hatchback four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive cars. They are basically front-wheel drive cars. <laughs> oh, she is sounding sick. It's a big block on the road. I wouldn't mind hearing on a daily basis. Obviously looks wise it's subjective whether you class it as a supercar but this is classed as a you know a full on Japanese supercar. Mate that looks nice as well. Wow that looks really nice. Technology uh, behind this car, uh, you'd have to go check out the original design of this car. But you look at the shape of it, and you'd think, nah, there's no way that aerodynamically that this car makes any sense. But no, seriously, though, the way that this car slips through the air, the way that it handles, a lot of people class these GTRs as like drag cars, but they're not actually drag cars first. This always been about the handling when it comes to these cars. 
first gear. Wow, have a listen. That's just a really, really clean, nice sound, man. It, it, you know, the V10s, the V8s, I always comment and mention how they are some of the best sounding engines on planet Earth, but that's definitely up there, isn't it, really? Don't call it Godzilla. They call it Godzilla for a reason, you know? I was literally about to say, we've got a back to basics dual clutch transmission because all these new cars, they're shifting from dual clutch to these automated ZF style boxes. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's crazy that I was even going to say that. That is what I'm classing dual clutch transmission as. The, 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 the faster, better technology. Kind of like it's an extinct manual transmission. For those of you into your gaming, like this infotainment system here has all been designed by the game uh, Gran Turismo. So you'll notice this is all very similar to like the menu design on the actual console game. Like literally Gran Turismo on PlayStation. You can check all your like um, G-Force meters. You can customize this as well to how you like. You can see you've got loads of different custom presets. Shows your engine all terms, gearbox terms, everything. Transmission shifts, the way it down shifts. So guys, I am gonna end the video in a second. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Uh, just so you know, I am going to be shooting a little bit more content on this channel. I love the fact I can just kick back, have a little waffle with no complaints, no expectations. I just like it. I like it, people. I like it. I'm going to lie to you. But uh, yeah, it was only meant to be a quick video, a little POV drive. The car's cool, so why not get a video on it? So yeah, link in the description. Anyone interested in winning it? So anyway, till next time.